eight minutes to the top of the hour and you're listening to 96.3 Nation FM where good music lives for a here, Maisha, right? Yo, my name is Mariam Bishar. Most bankable host, Brian. I say, listen, Tini Sana for staying with us. And as we for here, Maisha, in whatever capacity, we know life is not easy for everyone. And that's what you're talking about, the flood situation in the country. Here to help us just get uh, final uh, details about how best we can have uh, or take care of our safety is um, an amazing gentleman, Mr. Garrison. As soon as I say, I'm going to say, that's how you know you're mm. close to someone. <laughs> On and off air, we've been having a conversation about um, the flood situation in the country. What are some of the safety tips that you can share? Uh, and we know that at World Vision, you have uh, things that you often share with people way before such disasters. And right now, it's now key to actually uh, add a volume to that. Yeah, thank you very much. Allow me to use a Kiswahili word and say, Hakuna Shabiki na Mafriko. Don't think that you want to mean make a name for yourself mm -hmm. by trying these waters don't underestimate uh, the water mm -hmm. and the force of water we have seen people perishing the other day uh, because of uh, maybe thinking we did it this other time we can do it today mm -hmm. so i would say no matter the circumstances whether you are walking whether you are in a car in a motorbike please don't underestimate the the speed and the force of water don't try number two if you find yourself in a situation where water your, your house is getting flooded mm -hmm. first thing rush to the main switch of the electricity and switch it off to avoid secondary effects by you or others being electric electrocuted mm -hmm. uh, number three those who have been able to move to safer places but you are not sure of the source of water mm -hmm. please if you're not able to access chemicals to treat the water boil the water actually mm -hmm. boiling the water is the safest to avoid other secondary uh, again, effects of uh, flooding, that is waterborne diseases, mm -hmm. cholera. Mm -hmm. Number four, take care of children. Uh, the, we have pools of water that children can drown in, in the name of playing with the water. Actually, they're excited. Mm -hmm. To them, trying those waters is an excitement. Mm -hmm. Please, can, you, can we take care of children? Make sure that you know where children are at this time. They, they will not go playing in the pools of water. They can drown, even in... Uh, water put that we, we, we wouldn't expect them to drown. Mm -hmm. uh, number four, don't seek refuge in under big trees. So so far we have recorded death of people who have been struck by struck lightning, by lightning mm -hmm. because of seeking refuge under uh, big trees. So don't. You'd rather soil in water than be uh, under a tree. It's very, very uh, risky. And uh, in case you find yourself in a problem, but you are able to call, please immediately call the police line. 999 for and ask for help. It is easier to shout while uh, you are able, but if you delay, you may not even have the chance to let others know mm -hmm. that you are in trouble. Mm -hmm. So if you find yourself in trouble, whoever you think can be of help, please let others know. And uh, I would also call for other Kenyans that at this time, there are many families that are in distress if you are able to help mm -hmm. be a good neighbor if you mm -hmm. have a room and there are others who are out there and you can be able to host them for a day or two or give a blanket or give uh, school material mm -hmm. let's be brothers keeper as a country thank you so much mr garrison for creating time to be here with us ma'am i don't know if you have an add-on uh, as we finish this hour um, no, just asking that we listen to what um, the experts say as far as our safety is concerned. Mm -hmm. Of course, it can't be stressed enough that you can't underestimate water. Um, I would only perhaps yeah, hope that as our disaster management gets better, we mm -hmm. are maybe a little bit more prepared. This week, we shouldn't be the same as we were last week, right? Mm -hmm. exactly. But thank you so, so much for making time for us. <laughs> just yeah. to thank you for the work that you're doing and of course for making time for us this morning. And yeah. maybe the last one as I leave is, mm -hmm. uh, may I ask our listeners also to listen to our informers like uh, the radio stations like today we are they mm -hmm. provide you with useful information and tips which can help you to take early action very mm -hmm. true Thank